Welcome, everybody, to another fantastic episode of Super Shares powered by Q. My name is Joe Marquez, Director of Academic Innovation for Q. And today, I want to show you how to create an intro video, just like the one you saw entering in here to Super Shares. I want to show you how to make a countdown intro video for anything that you do in education um, or in your personal lives as well um, through Canva. Okay. And we're going to use just two applications to be able to do this. Now, I do want you to know you do need a Mac for this because we are going to be using Keynote uh, to be able to make the countdown timer. Uh, so if you don't have a Mac or you don't have an iPad to create this, you know, you can bug a friend and, and show them how to make the timer for you because all you need is the GIF or GIF of that timer to be able to upload into your Canva. So I wanna show you how to do this, but before we do, I have to let you know that Super Shares is a community show. And it is community because any one of you can be a part of Super Shares. All you have to do, right down there you see, here on the intro title slide, down at the bottom where it says qlearns.org slash Super Shares, all lowercase. If you go there, you can fill out a form to be a part of a super share episode. Your super share can be anything that you're passionate about. It can be a short presentation. It could be, hey, you got to check out how I'm using this tool. It's how check out this lesson that I'm doing. Take a look at the story that I did. Whatever you need to share out to the Q community that will help move all of us forward or feel good about our, our job. So we would love for you to go and sign up to be a part of a future super share. Also, before we move on, I have to let you know that right now we are in the early bird stages of fall Q. And if you go to fallq.org, you can sign up for fall Q for only 269. That is our early bird discount all the way through June 30th. So go and, and hound your administrators and hound your just go let them know. Hey, if we sign up for this before June 30th, we get a nice break on the price. That This is our signature event up in Northern California. Quick California. Most of you know about Spring Q, which is in Southern California. This is our Northern California event. It's going to be hosted by a Teachers College of San Joaquin. We would love to see you there. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. How are we going to create this intro video with graphics and, and, and transitioning slides and a countdown uh, and music? How do we do that all out of Canva? Well, it's, it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And I'm here to help you get the hang of it. So let's take a look at how we are going to do this. So first thing I want you to do is you're going to open up uh, a new keynote presentation and you're just going to select my presentation and hit create just like this now you want to add a new slide and the slide you want to add is going to be a statement slide the statement slides usually do a pretty good job at giving you uh a centered large um uh, timer so i'm just going to click on statement now what you need to do is edit that slide layout. Uh, if you're a Google user, uh, you would know that this is your, you know, the slide layout that you would create uh, in, in, in that, that aspect. We, number one thing we want to do is we want to just make this text large. So I'm going to come over here to text and I'm going to change this to just for right now, something super easy to see like uh, Geneva right there. Um, I'm going to change this. Uh, we want this to be as big as we can because we can adjust the size and location in Canva. So I'm going to make this uh, about 1200 in font and I'm going to make sure that the body is easily visible and I'm going to recenter it right there for us as well. Uh, another thing we want to do under style is we want to make sure that the fill is zero. 
The border is zero and the shadow is zero. I mean, there is nothing. We don't want the background or anything uh, to be um, uh, a color. All right, it's just kind of the fill's going to be transparent, basically. Even though you see it as black back here, dark back here, it's going to be transparent when we're done. Trust me. All right. And so when we're all done with that, we're going to go ahead and hit done. Now, from here, all you need to do is start changing uh, your slides into numbers and, and start at the top. And I think a 30 second timer will work for us. So I hit 30. There we go. And then all I do is hit Command D to duplicate that. And I am then going to go 29. And then I'm going to hit Command D and double click and hit 28. And you get, you get the point. So I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to change that. Here's the cool thing. Once you go all the way down from 30 to zero, um, you can come into slide layout. And you can change, when you click on body, you can change the color right here. Let's say let's say we want to change the color to orange, right? And then I hit done. It changes it for all of them. You don't have to go back and reset for any of them. You can do the same thing with the size, and you can do the same thing with font. Speaking about fonts, if you're looking for a font that you don't have, one of the places I like to go is the font, right up here, thefont.com. And you can come and find different fonts and install them on your machine, and they'll be available to use. So I'm going to actually open up a, uh, a keynote that I've already done. Notice uh, I've labeled it 30 all the way down to zero. And at the end, I put double zeros just because... You, you don't know. I mean, there's always a little bit of wiggle room when you're in Canva at the very end and you don't want it to go zero because it's going to be a GIF or GIF and it's going to reset. So you don't want your countdown to go to zero and everybody's anticipating the next slide and it starts that back at 30 again. Right. So I always add a few extra zeros because we can always adjust the time on the slide itself to move to the next one. OK, so I put a couple extra zeros. Again, here's the cool thing. If I wanted to change the color, I go down to uh, slide layout, I click on body, and I can change the color here, and I can change the text. So let's say I want to change the text here from min low. Let's say I want to change it to something interesting like 8-bit. Uh, there, well, that's a little bit, that's a little bit off. Let me change it to something a little bit different. Uh, how about back to the future font? Boom, right there. And if I hit done, all of the numbers go down and back to the future font, all right? Uh, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, but just for uh, our sake right now, I'm going to turn it back to Menlo because it's a pretty generic font that we can use. I'm going to come over here and just change it right back. All right, so how do we turn this into a transparent GIF uh, to be able to bring it into Canva? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm going to come over here to file. I'm going to go to export and I'm going to export it as an animated GIF. It's going to ask me, well, what slides do you want to go to? Well, I don't want it to go to one to one. I want it to go to one to 31. Actually, it's 33 because we added those extra zeros all the way down. I want the auto advance to go to one second. You can change the resolution from medium to large if you want. I'm going to keep it medium just for right now. But if you upload it to Canva and you don't like the quality and you want the quality to be a little bit sharper, you can definitely change the resolution to large or extra large if you wish. But here is the big thing you have to do. You have to make sure you select this button that says export with transparent background. And remember, we've already set this to no fill, right? I'm going to show you again. We've already set the background here to no fill. Um, so it'll it'll do exactly what we want it to do. So I'm going to come in here uh, again. Again, make sure it's from slide one to the very last slide that you have. That's 33. Uh, it's already down to advance every second. And then it's export with transparent backgrounds. I hit next. And I'm going to title it. Right. So transparent background, uh, 30 to zero countdown clock. I'm just going to title it. 
boom, done. And know where you're exporting this to. It's exporting to movies, but if you want to export it to fonts or images, whatever, make sure you do that. I'm going to click export. And look how fast, boom, it makes that animated GIF, and it's already exported. Now we are completely done with um, with your um, your keynote. Now again, if you want to come back to this, just save it, right? Go to File, Save as, save it as thirty to zero zero countdown, and uh, you can come back in here at any time and change the color, change the font, do whatever you want uh, for a, a different intro. So it's there. For you to come back to, uh, you don't have to recreate all these all over again for each new one that you want to make. All right, so now what do we do? Well, now I come over to my Canva, and what I want to do is I want to create a new design, and I want it to be a video. So I create a new design, and I want it to be a video. So there we go. I select it right there. Now that we are here into our our new design uh with with my video now we want to start building we want to start building the first thing i want to do the first thing i want to do is i want to change this intro slide because this is going to be my timer slide to 31 seconds so three one zero seconds we want it to be 31 seconds. Again, all I did is on this first slide, I clicked on it. You'll see the edit timer up here. You want it to go to 31 seconds. The next thing you want to do is you want to find a background uh, for for gaming or for whatever uh, whatever the theme of your your uh, your podcast or video cast or whatever is 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 there. So I'm going to put this. This is going to be for a a fake um, esports gamer show so i'm going to put down uh esports right there and so i just want to find some backgrounds that could work here's a pretty cool background right here just like this and remember you can make it bigger just like that boom right there um, now I'm going to come over, I'm going to add just a couple different graphics to this. The cool thing is any of these graphics that you bring in, you can change the color. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to make it white. Boom. So it pops a little bit right there. Make it a little bit smaller. Now, this is just me getting a little bit fancy, adding a couple things. Um, let's say that I want some, some chevrons coming in. Here's a here's a pretty cool one, and so and and when I when I, when I do this, I'm gonna just make it a little bit smaller. Bring it over right here. There we go. Let's see if there's any other cool little like like chevrons that are moving around here. Here's another pretty cool one that I might wanna bring over like this. Maybe make that a little bit smaller, but bring it here to the corner, just so you got some things that are moving. But now what I want to do is I want to upload my animated GIF of that countdown that I've done. So I just go to Upload Media. Again, where did I have it? I had it under my Movies. Uh, and then uh, I want to go down to my Countdown Timer. That is a GIF, right? It is a GIF. And so all I have to do is then come in here. Here's my countdown timer. This is my GIF, and I would select it. Notice the background is white because it's transparent. And then all I do is click open. And once I've done that, it'll upload it as a video, but it's a GIF. It says video, but it's a GIF. So I'm going to bring that in. I just click on it, and boom, there it is. Remember what I said about being able to move this around wherever you want? Boom, just like that. And so I can crop this. Just like this, boom. And if I wanted my countdown to happen in the corner, I bring it up to the corner. If I want my countdown to happen down here, I bring it down. You can move wherever you want. You can make it bigger, right? This is probably where you want to make that resolution when we downloaded it a little bit larger so that it, 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 it doesn't look as fuzzy as this, right? But it's you can do whatever you want with this. So I'm gonna bring it right here as my countdown timer is going. And now I'm gonna come over here to text really quick. Uh, here we go. I'm going to use this game over font. And I'm going to type we. 
we will begin in. I'll make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And I'm going to move this right up here to the top. We'll begin in, move this down. It'll tell you how many seconds. Just like that. So there's our intro slide right there. And then next, we want to have like, now, now the reason I didn't have like a moving background on this one is because when you have a moving background, like a video background, it limits how long you can have that slide up for. Um, for, for example, if I come up here to, to templates and some of these templates are animated in the background, Notice it already counts down for you. You cannot extend that countdown. And we want it to last 30 seconds or so for the countdown to go. Um, so it, re it really would not work for us. And so uh, we want to be able to leave this first one with a static background. But let's say I want this next one to come in. Boom. Add as a new page. There it is. So there we go right here. I'm going to type in. Get ready. To game. Move this up right there, just like that. And you can say like every Thursday at 4 p.m. PST, whatever, whatever it is. Right. And I'm going to I'm going to actually uh, do one last one over here. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to add as a new page uh, and I'm going to say. Welcome. To Q. Esports. And I'm going to get rid of this little skull guy and I'm going to add the Q Esports logo. Just like that. I'm going to animate it so that it rises. There we go. A, a couple things we want to do in between these slides, we want there to be some transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and come here and say add transition. Uh, I want it to circle wipe as we're going to zero. And then add a transition. Let's say I want it to match uh, just a brand new thing. It matches the moves that are identical between the different pages. So I'm going to hit match. Um, so now watch this. So now we have the timer. Right. So now we have the timer right here going. And then the transition. And then welcome to QE Sports, right? So this is your intro getting ready. You can adjust the time that meets the flow of your show, right? But now, but there's no music. Ah, but there is because Canva has an audio library. Yeah, they sure do. Uh, they have an audio library and I want this to be like, like fast, right? I want it to be like, um, we're, we're going to, uh, we're going to get going. We're going to be super awesome, right? And so I'm going to come here to Epic. And so I can come in here and listen to some epic stuff. That sounds pretty epic to me. All I do is click and drag down here. And look, it adds this entire flow here to the epic. Now, what if there's a part of this audio that you want it to be the start? All you have to do is go to adjust. And you can adjust the motion here just like this. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. Um, it looks like it's already kind of fading in. So I don't have to go to audio effects and add a fade in. But I do want there to be a fade out. So on the last second, I want the fade out to start happening. Just like that. All right. And so now I'm going to come over here towards the end really quick. And I'm going to hit play. See there? And it's done. Now, here's the cool thing. Like if, you, uh, if you start playing around with this, you're like, I'm going to hit play and see what it looks like. You're like, wait a minute. It doesn't start at zero. Well, when you're doing the preview, the, uh, the, the GIF is just looping. 
right? So it's going to look like it's not starting at zero. But when you do export this, it will come back. It will start at that 30 time frame. So I'm going to come over here when you're done. See, same thing. Even when you do the preview, it's not going to start exactly at 30 because it's it's rolling with the, the GIF that's already going. But when you finally go to share, download as an MP4, you download all three pages because they connect and you select download. That download will then come into your machine and you will now have your video ready to go and ready to show. So I want to show you this video, this one that I made directly off of Canva, exactly the same way that we did. Uh, and it starts at 30. I promise you it will start at 30. So watch this. Boom. And so there is your intro video all the way through making your timer, your animated GIF timer in Canva, uh, sorry, in in, uh, in Keynote, and then bringing it in as an animated GIF with a transparent background from, key, from Keynote into Canva, and then using Canva's uh, video features uh, to download your intro. Pretty sweet. Huh. Um, now, if if you're if if you're like ah, but I want a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. I want to be able to cut. I want to do that. You can uh, bring it into to iMovie, right? So you can see that I've added this. The only difference, the only difference, is if you're doing this in iMovie, you want to in your Keynote when you come up to File and Export, you. And if you're sorry, if you're doing this in iMovie, you do not want to download it as an animated GIF. If you're doing this in iMovie, you want to download it as a movie, self-playing from one to 33, go to slides every one second. And the only thing is you want to make sure you choose Apple ProRes 4444 and select export with transparent backgrounds. And when you've done that, it'll download it as a transparent video. And look, you will then be able to add it here. And you'll now see that that animated video is able to be moved around and adjusted um, all the way through what you're working on. So um, I, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, oh, sorry, I wasn't, wasn't sharing sharing the screen with that one. But again, you wanted to make sure uh, as you are in Keynote that you go to File, Export, Movie, change it from one to 33, change the seconds from five to every one second, and then select Apple ProRes as your compression type and export as transparent background. And when you bring that into iMovie, it'll be, you can see right up here, it'll bring it in as a transparent uh, motion up here that you can put over any section. And you could definitely move it around uh, and, and resize it and all those good things that we did in Canva as well. So um, I, I hope uh, this kind of like stirs some of those creative juices that you have going on right now. And, and, and I hope this uh, really inspires you to, uh, you know, start your own uh, video podcast, your video cast, video show, or have students make intros um, to some of these things because then they can throw it in uh, to a, uh, a slide in Google Slides or, or in Keynote when they're doing a presentation. It's like an intro to their project. Uh, just an easy, quick way to use a couple tools you probably already have uh, to be able to mold them and 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 have them fit your will, uh, and not not the other way around. So I, I hope that uh, that that this kind of like said, oh, I didn't know that. Awesome. So and if and if you have any questions, please definitely reach out to me. You can find me on Twitter at Joe Marquez seven zero, um, or you can email me at jmarquez at q dot org. And wait, before you go, I want you to know 
that we are still doing our May challenge for sticker design. Remember, every month we are going to select three winners of our sticker design challenge. Uh, right now it's end of the school year. It could be anything that has to do with end of the school year. It could be you jumping for joy. Uh, it can be you high-fiving your students. It could be anything. Um, it's it's it just supposed to bring out some creativity and, and some enthusiasm towards the end of that school year. Uh, and, and we just really want you to be able to do that. So um, uh, we are extending the design process for one more week. So until May 25th, You'll be able to create and uh, put in your design. And to put in your design, all you have to do is go to qlearns.org slash qmakestickers. That's qlearns.org slash qmakestickers uh, to be able to submit your design today. And we do want to say thank you to our sponsor, Make Stickers, uh, for being able to sponsor these uh, competitions. So again, Thank you so much. I, I hope uh, you enjoyed today's super share and I hope uh, you are enjoying the last few weeks of the 2021-22 uh, school year. So thank you so much for everything that you do uh, for the profession of education. Thank you for everything that you do for your students. And just thank you so much for being an amazing individual. Uh, from in the past, present, and future, uh, because we truly appreciate you and all the hard work you put in day in and day out. So I hope you have yourselves 